Europe's biggest building site, Hinkley Point, will be Britain's first new nuclear power plant for three decades. Already six years under construction, this mega project on the Somerset coast needs a million tonnes of nuclear grade concrete and 230 tonnes of Welsh steel. Around 10,000 workers are employed here, with 60,000 more involved across the country. With the first of two nuclear reactors already delivered, this huge atomic power station is due to open in 2027. Hinkley Point will eventually provide enough power for 6 million homes, 9% of the UK's total electricity. The cost is about £26 billion. That's about half the annual defence budget. On a recent visit, Grant Shapps was keen to highlight that Hinkley Point is providing thousands of much-needed apprenticeships. I asked the Energy Secretary how building a nuclear power station fits into the government's net zero vision of green energy. We have the world's largest offshore wind farm in the North Sea, and the second largest, and the third largest, and we're building the fourth. There are areas that we really lead in, but we need nuclear as well, because if the sun isn't shining, and you're not getting solar, and the wind isn't blowing, you're not getting wind, you need that base load of, of nuclear as well. But is Shaps comfortable about the big cost overruns at Hinkley? or that it's being built by EDF, a French state-owned company, using billions of pounds provided by the Chinese government. The, the Chinese have a, 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 an investment which is historic in this particular uh, development, uh, but primarily, as you say, it's an EDF French and therefore French government, because they're now uh, state-owned and therefore ta French taxpayer uh, problem. Despite the boost to jobs in the local economy, some campaign groups oppose the construction of Hickley Point. They say cost overruns will spark higher household energy bills, while highlighting the environmental costs of disposing of nuclear waste. The highly radioactive nuclear waste from Hinkley C has to be stored on site in its highly radioactive state for 60 years. It's 60 years before they can move a gram of it to the geological disposal facility which you know, will somehow somewhere be constructed in time for that. Whether it opens in 2027 or later, this new nuclear plant will remain controversial. But as oil and gas use recedes, atomic energy will likely play an increasing role in powering our nation. Liam Halligan, GB News, at Hinkley Point.